Anthony, you came here from Quebec and automatically integrated yourself within the community. You were a mentor for a lot of the kids at Willow West School and a very big part of their lives. What was it about coming to Guelph and then kind of making yourself a part of this city that you wanted to do so well that you've succeeded with? The thing that was very important for me was like, I come from a big family of like 13 kids. And you know, for me, what was important was to just be there for these kids. Cause like, once I got to know them and I understood them and I saw that nobody else was understanding them, I'm like, I can't leave here. Those guys know that like, they mean the world to me and I mean a lot to them. So it was very important for me to, you know, stay by their side and help them out, give them opportunities that they even say that like, they never got the opportunity to have, right? Like bringing them to the Argos game, having a dodgeball game with the Griffin football guys, uh, bringing them donuts here and there. And honestly, it was just like a blessing. And you know what? Like I thank Willow Road because I didn't just stay with like my group of kids. Like I went around the school every time, right? And I got to know those kids and I love them to death. That's all I gotta say to be honest with you. For you, you know what you're giving these kids or probably understand exactly what it means to them, but what for you as Tony Hall does it mean to you? What do you get out of it? Honestly, like I, I, I tell a lot of people, a lot of people are asking me like, why are you doing this Anthony? Like, you know, you already have a busy schedule. Like I have football, you know, I have work and I have school, but the main thing that I wanted to like leave here before I move on to wherever I go is I want to make a difference outside of the field. A lot of people like think that, oh, you know, I'm gonna come to Guelph and I'm gonna get all these stats and I'm gonna go to the pro. Like, yeah, for sure I want that. But for me, being like a God-fearing man is I wanna be giving to a lot of people. I wanna change these kids' lives because I was lucky to have a big, like a mentor, my late uncle Dave and you know, my older brother Corriato, like these guys were my mentors and there's a reason why I act the way I am and you know, I act with a certain professionalism. I wanted to teach that to the boys and give them an understanding of how to be a man. Some of these kids, they don't have their fathers in their lives and you know, they're the man of the house, but they don't know how to be a man yet. So why not just spend an hour or sometimes I go visit them during the week, like, oh, I got some free time. Let me go to Willow Road real quick and you know, pull a guy aside and you know, have him like be vulnerable because a lot of people think that vulnerability is something of weakness. But what I've learned in my faith is vulnerability is a sign of strength. His heart is huge. His sense of empathy and his sense of right and wrong is um, amazing. And so he comes and he has the energy to be able to say, no, we're going to do this. And this is what this is the, the vision that I have for this group. I know he wants to carry this on till next year. We want to, he wants to expand into other schools. He sees a bigger vision, a bigger picture. And it's so exciting to work with, with Anthony and I just love that energy. Like I tore my knee last year and I wish I played with the boys, but you know what? This made me even stronger, even more thankful to you know be alive. You get what I'm saying? So that was something that I got out of it myself, personally. And we're gonna grab the phone real quick and show you what you mean to these kids because sure. we have a little surprise for you. Go ahead and grab that and then yeah. hit play whenever you're ready, my friend. All right. What has it been like to have Anthony as your mentor? It's in like, and everyone can agree with me, it's been an amazing ride. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of people over there just having a lot of fun as it is the last day and we're really gonna miss him. As I'm going to high school and I'm not gonna be able to see him, but I'm really happy that he was able to like show us like how he was like a mentor and like show us like how to like improve in life and forward. He would give us like he you know he'd give us like a fun time, like do activities and stuff like that, but he'd also give us like like what was it called? Like he would tell us how to like you know improve in life, like stuff that you should do when you're an adult and etc. and like how to like go forward like for example like don't do like he was telling us like don't go down a dark path as drugs and like alcohol stuff like that you just got to stay away and improve in life and work forward and that's why like 
I think that he's the best mentor I've ever had in my whole life. That's it, perfect. You know what's crazy? Like with this kid right here, like that kid, like he's actually going through a lot at home and like it's kind of giving me goosebumps and like I might have a tear, but I come, I came to Guelph and I was just like, I was like, man, like this place is like beautiful. Like it seems like everybody here is thriving, but you know, I feel like those kids are like those forgotten kids. I just want to make a change and just do what God is telling me to do. That's it. Well, we thank you so much for your time and for everything you've done for the city and this mm -hmm. community and this team. Anthony, you're an amazing person. Thank you. And we appreciate the time. Thank you. You got it, we good? <laughs> <laughs>